Minnesota Fighting Vikings are 10 and 3, and maybe they're not the most elite 10 and 3 team in NFL history. It's possible. It's possible, right? And of course, Vikings fans, like, we're always looking for the banana peel. We're always looking to see where the team will be slipping, falling, they can't get up. And the glass is always uh, half empty, uh, but the half that is full, it's full of pee, urine, or something like that. But WCC. Oh, uh, is a local news channel, uh, if you're not familiar with the Twin Cities area. So it's uh, CBS. And so when the Vikings play an AFC team uh, at home, that's where you're watching, generally WCCO. Uh, now, <laughs> as someone who clearly hates the Vikings, tweeted this out. Or maybe they're just trying to be funny. I don't know. Uh, in clear defiance of any sort of superstition or even a passing knowledge of the team's history, the Vikings are selling playoff tickets, even though they haven't technically earned a spot in the postseason yet. So, j j just the asinineness, just the obtuseness uh, going on uh, in this tweet. I mean, uh, whoever's on the social media team is just like, I hate football, I hate everyone. Or maybe they're they're a true blue Vikings fan or true purple Vikings fan and just like, nah, I'm ready for the hurt. Bring in on the heartache. Because even though the Vikings have not clinched yet, they are over 99.999% chance to win the division. Uh, Vikings have to go for, uh, uh, excuse me, the Lions have to go 0-4. Let's try that again. Lions have to go 4 0. Vikings have to go 0 4. What could go wrong? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. And, and even if that goes pear shaped, I mean, the Vikings still have 10 wins. Uh, they're probably, if the Vikings lose the division, they're probably still going to get in as a wild card. So it's what, whatever there. But the, the amazing part is, is like, so they were trying to grab a brick to hit the Vikings with, but Ben Gessling, Star Tribune, corrected it. And uh, he had a little dunk of his own. Uh, Guessing strip go. NFL rules require teams that are above 500 and with at least three games of the division lead to start selling playoff tickets by December 15th. Vikings will have fewer than 6,000 single game seats for home playoff games. They can clinch the NFC North this weekend. So uh, it's a moot point. So the, the the Vikings are literally required to start selling playoff tickets. Is it? It isn't superstition. It isn't oh what could go wrong. It's like it isn't. Thump in our chest, we're, we're making the playoffs because uh, given the team history, I don't think that they would do that. They're just like, oh, okay, we're, we're legally mandated by the league. Well, maybe not legally, but we're mandated by the league to start selling tickets. And plus, I mean, most of the U.S. Bank Stadium is uh, is uh, season ticket holders. Uh, so, I mean, those 6,000 seats are probably going to get scooped up pretty quickly, hopefully by Vikings fans. Also, noting that most uh, – yeah, all, all seats in U.S. Bank Stadium is – by, uh, is season ticket holders besides 6,000 seats. That should really piss you off when a lot of Cowboys fans, a lot of Packers fans, a lot of whatever fans get their mitts on some of these tickets. Because, hey, if you're a Vikings fan as a, and a season ticket holder, you can't make a game, try and make an effort to sell your tickets to another Vikings fan. I, I know that it, it's nearly impossible if you're selling them on uh, on the market, but, you know, you know. It's weird, man. But yeah, yeah, WCCO, yeah, nice dunk attempt, but you, you just got mutumboed by mm mm, mm mm, mm mm, Ben Gessling right there. Uh, be your thoughts or thoughts. WCC, oh, tries to show up the Vikings, fails. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.